hello guys it's your boy tech adam from code resource here again with another tutorial today and today we are going to be making the portfolio templates we did uh, previously today we're going to make it responsive uh we're not going to really do much we're just going to do the basics of responsiveness uh, so without further ado let's get to it um uh, please before that um if you've not subscribed to our channel yet please don't forget to do that and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and I want I would like to know what you think about um, our content below in the comment section so please do comment in the video so let's get to the let's get to it so um uh, right now you could see that if I go to my browser here and I go to my developer tools uh, you could see that um, the site is pretty much not responsive uh, if I come here and try to refresh and resize it you could see the way it behaves in the browser um, so today we're going to fix all these and make it look kind of different on mobile and different screens so let's do that so on the first thing i'm going to do is to add a meta tag here uh it's going to be a viewport and i'm going to give it a content uh, width is equals to device width now if i come back here um, before i refresh i want to show you something so you could see that the whole browser is just trying to fit into the screen that is being given below below it's as if it has a pre uh, a preset responsiveness but um, if i refresh now you'd see behave differently because of the viewport i added uh, so you could see right you see the way it's behaving it's now kind of different from previously so um what i want to do if you look up here you would see that uh there is a screen size uh that is showing right here as i am resizing the browser you could see that the screen size is refreshing so we're going to be using this stuff to actually uh this uh, um this uh responsiveness calculator here we're going to be using it to determine where we want to add certain properties um so uh with responsiveness on in, in css we are going to be using what they what we call media queries so uh, it just simply means that uh you're going to be adding different styles for different screen sizes so so let's do that so first i'm going to use i want to add some styles right here for example i'm going to make this 990 and i want to add some styles here uh so uh, what i want to do is i want to make this guy this guy this this second grid here this second um column here i want to push it down to the next line and i want to i'm going to be hiding this image and secondly um i'm going to do the navigation last so first let's try to resize the the whole content first so now i want to come back to my css I'm going to go to my assets css so i'm going to go down i'm going to come here i'm going to say add media um i'm going to say only screen so what i'm trying to do here is say this media is for the screen that for different screen sizes and i want the max width when the width of the screen is 990 pixels i want these styles to be applied so anything 990 pixels below these styles are going to be applied so first i'm going to target this image and i'm going to target this guy and this guy so let's go back to our html and check um so you see here image and we have hero dsc which is hero description so let's say here image i want to say display of none none and the hero dsc i'm going to give it a width of uh, 100 percent so let's see how that looks at 990 you could see right so give me a sec here the sc let's go back and check uh what's the style for that okay here the sc display of flex
Um, give me a sec. Xbox. So I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to try to give you the background to see what the problem is. Red, for example. Yeah, so this is it. So let's say I give it a display of block instead. Let's see how it reacts. All right. Let's say mean with 100%. Let's see. Yeah, so that works. That works, and I'm going to remove the color. And I'm going to give it a margin top of C3 REM. Let's see how that looks now. Okay. Let's see, 4. 2.5. Yep. And I'm going to align the whole text. To send it. Next line. Center. Yeah. So I think we get to go. I'm gonna increase this margin. I think it's still a little bit smaller. Yeah. So if I stretch this, you see the image is back. If I do like this, you see. Yeah, I think we're going somewhere. So um. So let me, I think um, I need to reduce um, the, the height here, right? So let's go back to our HTML. And um, I think this section is called, let's see, the content, right? Let's see the content. Is it the content? So let's go back to our CSS and check again content so it has a height of ATVH so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say content dot content I want to give it a height of auto and let's see how it is and say important important let's see refresh yeah so it works so I'm gonna I'm going to come back here now and I'm going to say margin uh, let's say top bottom and left right is zero I think I should solve a problem uh, top bottom left right why so uh, let's say contents maybe the bottom bottom of C3 area let's see how that looks I'm sorry about that. Yeah, so I think it's cool that way. Uh, we could proceed like this. So next, uh, I'm going to target um, this aspect of it of of the template. So let's come back and say, oh, what are we looking for? We're looking for about left and then um, about right. So I'm going to go back and say, what about left? About, about right I'm gonna say um, so first I'm gonna come back to where I said flex you know um, both the about left and right are in the class of flex so I'm gonna go to flex nice flex uh, Flex. Yeah, so I'm going to say flex wrap and I want it to be wrap. So it's going to accommodate when the element is is bigger. I am um, is up to 100% or the width is pushing the other element down, it's going to wrap to the next line. So I'm going to say width 100% for each of them. So if I refresh. You could see that it's in the next line, right? And I'm going to give any padding, padding left to be zero, and padding right 
to be zero. So let's see how that looks. Um, okay. Okay. Hmm. Uh, give me a second. Let me check that. Okay. Oh, it was more than 990. So I think that's a problem. Good. Okay. Let me make this main width 100%. Yeah. So I think that solved, solved the problem. And so we need to do uh, another thing. Let's give them a margin bottom of 100. Uh, oh, sorry, it's a tree area. Let's see how that looks. Mm -hmm. So next, uh, these guys, let's do this guys at 990. 990. So all we want to do is um, let's reduce. Um, I think that's agreed. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna open this back. So here, um, in the services section, yeah. So services main has three elements: single service, single service, single service. So if we go to services main here. So in services main, um, services main is a grid. So what we want to do is reduce the the grid, the, the columns on every. Um, so I'll say services main and the columns, and I want it to be two on each row for now. Okay, so this is nine ninety four. Yeah, so you could see that it's functioning. I want it to be two. And when it is seven, say seven, six, eight, I want it to be one. So let's create another rule set for seven, six, eight. Yeah, seven, six, eight. Uh, media screen only. Also, media only screen and max width. Max width. It's called 768, right? 768 pixel. I want to reduce this guys to be having one column per row. So yeah, so if I refresh, you'd see that that's functioning, right? And in this stage, I'm going to give them margin bottom of uh, say two. Oh, yeah. So let's check that. So that's it that section yeah so I think it looks okay so um, so next let's go to the gallery section for the gallery section we're gonna go back to our one we're at 990 I'm gonna do some styling on it on 990 yeah so here I want um, say four grids per column so let's go to gallery yeah so gallery box this is it so let's copy the whole of this guy go back to this 990 go back to this section and the only thing i need the only property i want to modify is let's say i want three of this power and refresh yeah you could see that's functional that's functional and sorry one more thing um so i'm going to have three rows and i'm going to say two of the three of this guy two par rows yeah so that solves the problem and okay solves our problem mm -hmm. so at um Seven six eight. I say seven six eight. I want two, two part. Let's go back here, and I'm going to put this rule set here. Let's say I want two. So let's refresh and see the way it is. And yeah, 
So then we're going to be having four, four rows. And if I refresh now, you can see the way it looks. Alright. So this is the way it looks. So I think we're done with the with the gallery section. So what's next left is this section. So let's go back to to 990. Alright. And we're gonna try to style this guy. So let's see what we can do to this guy. Mm -hmm. For testimonials, testimonials. So let's check. Uh, testimonials has a padding of five, top bottom. Let's try. And the slider container with a seventy-five. So I'm going to. I'm going to add to this. So let's go to I think here. So for the slider container, we're gonna give it a margin width of a hundred pixel. I think see what a bit of a hundred percent. Yeah, so you could see see that. So another thing I could do is try is reduce the font size here. Now we could reduce the font size and we could reduce the height of um, the the slider. Yeah, so let's see how that looks. Um, so uh, let's see how we are going to do that. Slider image, so slider info, so slider info. So let's edit this whole stuff there and see how the slider is going to look so I'm going to reduce the font size to let's reduce this guy I reduce the font size to say 1.2 uh, say 1.2 and for these I'm going to say 1 point uh, just one right just one and for this other guy I'm just gonna say one two so let's refresh and see how that looks yeah, so I think it's pretty looking pretty much better than before. So guys, what I want to do is um, uh, when the screen is much more smaller, for example, at this stage, uh, I want to you know I want to hide this image so so we'll have text and everything looks better at that stage. So let's see. Um, Let's see for the slider description, slider image. Uh, I want to see what I gave to slider container, slider columns one. So, first, I'm going to do this. I'm going to come here and answer that's it. Okay, single slider. So, single slider, it's still displayed. Read. I'm going to remove this property. I don't have any issue with it. So, I'm going to make this one. And for the slider image, I'm going to give it a display of none. So, let's see how that works. Yeah, so I think that's better. That's better. So let me increase all this guy the font size so it looks much more appealing to for this I'm gonna see one point four. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, so I think it's better like this. It's better this way. Yep. Uh-huh. So next we're gonna work. Let's work on the newsfeed section uh, before we come back to the brands here. So for the newsfeed, I'm gonna go back to 990 again. 990. So let's try and restart it at this phase. So newsfeed, newsfeed, newsfeed. So let's go to the newsfeed here. Um, let's see. Yeah, so you can see news content has a display of grid. So we're going to come back here. And 
and here we want to make the template columns equals to two equal to two and let's refresh and see yeah you could see see that that works and uh what i want to do next is at this stage let's see that's seven six eight seven six eight yeah so it's seven six eight now i just want it to be one i just want it to be one so let's refresh and you see that it's functional now yep so now we're going to go back and start the menu right so we want to make our menu responsive so let's go back and do that so if i come back to html uh so we're going to be starting the menu at 768 768 yeah so um, if we come back to our HTML, we'll see that right here um, we have a UL and this nav has a display of flex. So we're going to go back to our CSS for the nav. I'm going to give it a position, position of relative. Yeah. So that we could remove. So um, next, what I want to do is in here, I'm going to wrap this inside a div. A div, sorry, inside a div. I'm going to wrap the UL in a div, uh, so I'll be able to target that as a container. So let's refresh. You'd see that nothing changed, right? Nothing changed. So I'm going to give this a class of, uh, let's see. Um, Mm. Mm. What would I say? Let's say nav, nav menu, container, or something. Yeah. So nav menu container. So um, we're going to be using CSS to toggle the menu. So uh, for this guy, right? I want I want to change this to a label now. I want you we're going to be using the concept of a checkbox. So I'm going to change this to a label, and the label is going to be targeting uh we're going to be targeting a checkbox so i'm going to say menu toggle right and it has a class of menu right so um here uh i'm going to come to a class of menu toggle btn it's going to be for menu toggle btn so here i'm going to create an input with a type with um with a type of checkbox. Yeah, so I'm gonna give you an ID of this when you talk a bit here. So if we go back to CSS and do would see that uh, so for this so what I want to do is going to if we refresh first we would see that there's like a checkbox here and we don't want that to be displaying so i'm going to see menu toggle right i want to give it a, i want to give it a display display of none mm -hmm. and even the button should not be visible when it hasn't gotten to 768 so if we refresh uh menu toggle we turn off that I say, so I think this is the let's say display of now. So let's see how that looks. Um, so what is really happening? I don't think the stars are applying. So let's come back here. Oh, this is supposed to be menu toggle. Sorry. And then this has a class of menu. Let's check. Yeah, the menu toggle is gone. So, um, okay, what we want to do is this ally. Let's give it a class of menu toggle. Ah, something like that. So, I'm going to come here and I'm going to make it give it a display of none also. So, if I come back here and refresh. 
Um, sorry about that. Let's check. I don't know why is this giving me a problem again. Display none. Display none. Okay, I'm going to copy that. Let's come back down here and paste it. Refresh. Yeah, you could see it's gone. It's gone now, right? You could see that it's gone. So at this stage, um, this is the stage where we want to now show it, right? This is the stage where we want to show it. So we have two things we're going to be working with, which is a nav menu container and also um, this menu toggler right here. So let's go to the screen size the screen definition where we want to make everything happen so it's going to be here so i'm going to say nav menu container so i'm going to apply styles to it so secondly on say the menu toggle and you display of inline let's see how it looks I don't think inline is the main word to use. Inline block. Let's see. Yeah, it should have like some styles applied to it. But let's let me go back to let me go back up here. And talk about you knife menu. I'm gonna add all these guys to it. Okay, let's remove this. I think everything will be cool. All right, so menu. So I'm going to say dot menu toggle that the anchor tag in it. I want to give you the stars. So let's see how that works out. Let's see, yeah, background of um, red. Let's see. Okay, not working. Uh, I don't get what is the problem. Oh, it's a label now. It's a label. Sorry, guys. So I have to go back. There's no anchor there again. So let's go back. I'll share it. Okay. It's a label. So I'm going to go back to our CSS here and we're going to see a label. That's a class of menu. So let's refresh. Yeah, so everything is good. Everything is good. So next, we want to target this nav menu container and we're going to give it a position. Absolute. Yep. So let's see. It has a position of absolute and we want to give it a position of absolute. I'm going to give it fixed. Yeah, let me give it fixed. And I want the. I want it to have, have a width height of um, 100% to cover the whole screen and a width of 100%, right? And I want to give it a background. Background of hash. Oh, let me use a variable there and I'm going to see dark. Dark IPG. And it's going to have a color of white it's gonna have a top of zero and a left of zero so let's see how that looks you can see it covered the whole screen yeah so what we want to do next is style the menu each menu item and make it look um, better so now we want to try get the the another list which is this one so before that i'm going to add something here let me add um i want to add a div which um basically what i'm going to do is going to target that same i'm going to copy the whole label stuff here and i say div dot close menu something like that and close and here i'm going to say ti yeah, close so let's see how that works yeah you could see that so close menu. So I'm going to target that dot close menu. So what I want to do with this guy is I want to 
text align to to the right right and this guy I want to give this guy a part in or say one area so let's see that how this looks yeah so it's making sense uh, next next uh, let, let's increase the part in a little so 1.5 and give that guy margin, this guy give it a margin bottom of 5 right here yep so for each of the allies here so let's come back here and say dot um, so which is this menu so I'm gonna say The nav menu container UL. So I'm going to give it display of block. Let's see how that changes everything. Yep. So it's going to have a width of 100%. Uh, yep. Which is not displaying. So we're going to go to I'm going to copy all of this guy I'm going to paste it but this time around I'm going to be styling the allies so I'm going to say text align center let's see how that looks yeah making sense so here yeah, we're going to copy and click on the the anchor anchor tags I want to give it a front size of um, before that i want to use the margin bottom 1.4 rm and here i'm going to give the font size of um 1.4 rm also so let's see how that looks yeah it's making sense makes sense so uh, let's increase the font size to 1.5 mm -hmm. So next what we need to do is uh, we'll click on any of those guys uh, before then I'm going to hide the whole nav so here it has a left of um, zero I'm going to say minus 100% so it takes it off the screen so you could see it's no longer on the screen right it's no longer on the screen so what we want to do is um, when we click on this which is a label right now this label is going to be toggling that checkbox as we click on the label it's going to make the checkbox um let me show you what i mean so i'm going to go to where my checkbox is and i'm going to i'm going to remove uh, the display of none that i added to it so you get the concept of what i'm trying to do where's the checkbox again uh, yeah so this is the checkbox right I'm gonna cut it out and I'm gonna refresh. So if I click on this guy, you'd see what's happening. Okay. So I don't think it's checking. So let's come back here. Okay, so I get the, the problem. So this is going to be for menu toggle, right? For menu toggle. Because this 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 talk menu toggle is the ID of the imputer so i'm going to change that for this also so if we come back and refresh and we click on it you could see that the checkbox checks in and checks out right so that's actually kind of what we want so i'm going to put it back in so what i want to do is if you if you notice the hierarchy of the way i display my elements here i try to put in this imputes before this nav menu container so i'm going to be using sibling selector or what they call sibling selector in css so now what i want to do is i want to say that when the impute is checked it should display the it should display that nav menu container so i'm going to come back to to where right here so i'm going to say if uh, if the this menu toggle right which is menu toggle which is the input itself if it is checked right 
I want it, I want to get sibling selector which is nav menu container. I want to give it a, a left of zero. All right, so let's see how that is. You just see that? You saw that? Did you see that? So now it's not looking really, it's not looking, I don't like the way it does. So I'm going to give it a transition. I'm going to give it a transition to nav menu container. Transition. Position. Let's see, I see one second. And let's refresh. If I do like this, you'd see slides in, right? Making a lot of sense now. All right, so let me reduce, let's say 0.7 seconds. Not up to one second. Yeah, so it makes sense, perfect sense. So guys, as you can see, we've been able to make this template responsive and I'm very glad we're able to complete the series and please guys, don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, uh, um, comment in the section, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, I'll hear from you next time. Uh, we're going to be coming at you with very good quality content. So don't forget to click the notification icon so you're, you have a, you get a notification when our next awesome content has been, um, uh, it's been released. So thank you guys. Uh, Take care and I'll see you next time.